Good afternoon, viewers at home. It's quite a privilege and an honor for us to bring you True Gospel from Rainbow Family Church. I'm Pastor Pato. I'm about to share the Word of God with you. I'd like you to watch this word from the beginning to an end. It's surely going to bless your life. All it's about is about to remind you that you are called to lead in such a time as this. That this world will be a better place if all of us were to take our position and lead the way God wants us to lead. And this word is all about reminding you that do not leave your place. You are called to lead. You are called to serve. God bless you as you watch this sermon. Amen. You may take your seats as we open the book of Matthew chapter 4. And we're going to read verse 18. Matthew chapter 4, we're going to read verse 18. And it reads as follows. As Jesus was walking beside the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were cast uh, they were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Verse 19, come follow me, Jesus said, I will send you out to fish for people. Amen. Now go with me to the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, and we're going to read verse 5. If you got it, say amen. Jeremiah chapter 1, and we're going to read verse 5, and it reads as follows. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Father, this is your word. I pray that let it be revealed to your people today that, Lord, we are able to benefit and grow from it. Let it do the work in our lives. In Jesus' name, we trust you this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, but I'm going to share today uh, briefly on, on leadership concepts. And in both scriptures where we've read, we are finding something very similar. In both scriptures, it is God speaking to men. And when God speaks to men, he is doing what he has already done. Or rather, he is saying what he has already done. And he confirms it by himself. He is not sending, um, he is not sending angels. He is saying it by himself. In the book of Jeremiah, he speaks to Jeremiah. Says, Jeremiah. I formed you in your mother's womb. Or before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Now, when God was speaking to Jeremiah, he was a young man. He was actually a teenager. So God is able to speak to teenagers. God is able to call teenagers. You do not have to be old to be called by God. God calls you at any age. And when God has called you, you've got no choice that anything else you do will not work out until you respond to the call of God. Now, the word to be called is a word which is also used to be set apart. When God said, I've called you, he means, I've set you apart. In other words, uh, I have got exclusivity over you. In other words, the only thing you will be able to do is what I've called you to do. If you do something else, it's likely not to work out because you are not built for other things. You are built for the cause of God. And everything that is inside of you is made to build or to do what God God has called you to do. If you're using everything that is inside of you for something else besides what God has called you to do, it's going to be an abuse 